Well, London has its gherkin. Now, Birmingham could have the armadillo. That's apparently how New Street Station will look after its huge £600 million revamp. Yeah, the grand design to revitalise probably the ugliest railway station in the UK has been revealed today. And our transport correspondent, Peter Plisner, is at the station now to tell us more. It certainly looks different, Peter. Nick, it is pretty impressive, uh, but let's face it, anything's better than what we have at the moment. The unveiling of these designs follows a competition amongst architects from all over the world, but the big question tonight is, do these designs really have the wow factor? Have a look at this and judge for yourself. Previous designs for New Street have been, well, just a little underwhelming. Hardly a major landmark for a world-class city, but now get ready for the station with a difference, a building that promises to become a destination in its own right. I think it's a great improvement and uh, I kind of like the futuristic, glossy look of it. I think it's time we had a decent station. But do you think it'll fit in? To start with, no, but as the city develops and regenerates itself, then yes. Most cities have iconic buildings. London has its gherkin. Bill Bow has the famous Guggenheim Museum. But can a railway station in the centre of Birmingham really compete? The Spanish architect who's designed the new New Street says it certainly can. I think the challenge of turning something like this or, or an airport into an experience uh, that millions of people have to go through every day is, uh, is fantastic. It's much more interesting as an architectural project than, than a museum. Network Rail has pledged to upgrade the station without closing it to passengers and that means building it in two distinct phases. Uh, the first thing that we'll see after work on site is completion in 2012 of the uh, main concourse so that will be open for business before the rest of the station is complete. So passengers will actually see some benefit in advance before we get through to completion in 2015. The modernisation of New Street is long overdue, but now the architects are in place, it really is finally getting underway. Form this evening is Sir Bernard Zisman, uh, former mayor of Birmingham and uh, the chairman of the committee that chose these designs. Sir Bernard, do they have the wow factor? Well, let's hope they do. I mean, railway stations these days have to be rather more than just a station for trains to go through. They're a gathering point. They're a centre of the city. You've only got to go to Washington and look at Union Square and Grand Central in, in New York. This design has, I think, all of the things that will make people excite. It will excite them. It will give them great hope about the future of Birmingham. Now, you're involved with the ICC and indeed Millennium Point in your days with the council. How does this compare? Well, this, of course, is, is a bigger scheme. As, as the years move on, as decades move on, so they cost a lot more. A lot of partners involved in this, and we had to try and satisfy not only Network Rail, um, but also the City Council, Advantage West Midlands, um, as well as the Metro. At the end of the day, the people that's got to be satisfied uh, are, are, in fact, the people of Birmingham. I think the people of Birmingham love Symphony Hall. Uh, we had all the cards stacked against us when we deal, dealt with that, and this is going to do the same for Birmingham. Briefly, uh, all classic buildings seem to have nicknames any already for this one when i first saw the design it looked to me like a danish pastry danish pastry well we've uh, asked for emails we've had one or two other names uh, sue evans from solihull she says it should be called the turtle shell and a couple of others the silver armadillo and the shining tortoise will any of them stick well let's wait and see